I'm gonna be let's go gen talk then write it all out plus it gets all leggy and uh okay so what we're gonna do today is the um oh, what is it these kind of banners a lot of people are asking me about them um yeah so let's start with that one okay so just obviously just write your um this is in cs3 you actually can't do it on fo um photo filter as far as i know if someone knows how then like totally let me know and i'll try to figure it out okay so once you have this like this you're gonna go to blending options and you'll need to stroke it and depending on like how big you want your stroke I normally do it around 10 and right here for the fill type just change it to pattern and then you should have all your patterns like saved in here and just pick your rainbow gradient one or whichever one you want so then you're gonna go to pattern overlay and pick your glitter you can use the silver one and then just press OK. So for this one, you need to have an even number of slides because if you don't, then the glitter isn't going to be stuck on one slide. So like I normally do four. OK, so after you've done this, just duplicate the layer and then click down here. Click on pattern overlay. Change the glitter to the other one. So it's the reverse so that it glitters back and forth. Click on stroke and then drag the pattern across just to where you want it and then press OK. Then you're gonna do this again. Pattern overlay, go to one, go to stroke, drag it across a bit more. Now I want it to be super smooth, you're gonna have to do more than four frames, but for this I'm just gonna do four. Normally I do around six. Again, change it. Go to stroke and pull it across to the end. Okay, so now I'm just going to animate it. And I normally do it around two seconds. So you need four frames. <clears throat> and go to the first one and just hide all the other frames. Second one. Take this frame off. Put the next frame on. Third one. This frame off. Third frame on. Fourth off. And on. Okay, so I'll just make sure. That Okay, of course it's going to go super slow, but that's, it, it looks good on the internet, just my Photoshop loves to do that. Okay, so then just crop it, and then save it, and you are done. Alright, thanks guys.